Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool telephone. This is Andrea's telephone from Illinois and uh, it's a Western Electric 317BB and uh, he's got a note here with it and he talks about how the transmitter still works and the receiver and he wants to use this telephone and have it uh, where he can hook it up in his home and use it as an extension telephone and uh, it's going to be a really cool situation when this is finished up and he's right in his note the transmitter does work and so does the receiver and that's pretty amazing because what happens with telephones that are 100 years old, like this telephone, this is the 1911 model, and uh, basically the transmitters always kind of sizzle and pop and crack, and so this transmitter is about 75 to 100 percent good, and you wouldn't want to dare take this transmitter apart. I've seen technicians take them apart just to clean them and and put them back together again, and when they work like this one does. I've already checked it out and this is the initial checkout video. This one works and um, I've had people call me and say well you know they kind of sound tenty. Well that's because they have a metal diaphragm in the receiver and the transmitter and so you know it, it doesn't get any better than being able to hear what somebody heard on a telephone a hundred years ago you can't go back in the past, but at least you can get on one of these telephones that works. And now you know what it sounded like to be on the telephone 100 years ago. Why would you want to change that? You know, so uh, basically he doesn't want to change his, and we're not going to go into the transmitter. That's definitely something that you want to leave alone. If it works, don't open it up. But we are going to install a modular port, and we have to talk to uh, him about you know a finalization of what we're going to do here but he wants the bells to ring when the when he gets a call and he also wants to be able to crank the crank and, and ring the bells which it does now and you know he just wants to use the extension phone so we have a little uh, a bunch of different little things that we have to do to it install a modular port and uh, do a circuit design for to make the bells ring when he gets a call and keep that separated from when he cranks the crank and rings the bell. Now there's a switch on the side and basically this switch on the side here it's right here that is for you hold that down and you crank the crank and that was to contact the operator so that has a switch in it and um, like I said earlier the original receiver does work and the original transmitter works so it's just a really cool telephone and that's amazing that it has uh, the quality after a hundred years to be able to even talk on this telephone and it's pretty quiet so you know it's it's just amazing to see that I'm going to kind of show you the inside of this telephone I'll show you something else that's really cool he's got a schematic here but he's got a five bar generator and then that's a schematic and that kind of explains everything too on the schematic it has its uh, explanation of everything this telephone is in very good condition and I've known some people who will take uh, and make battery pictures of batteries and what they'll do is they'll set batteries back in there uh, just for show to kind of uh, make everything look more original
And this is the initial check out of this telephone. It's just a beautiful telephone. Kind of give you a look at the inside here. And most everything is intact. It's it's all here. We will contact him and uh, talk to him about a finalization of what we're going to be doing with this telephone. And uh, we're going to start on this telephone, get it finished up for uh, Andreas, and um, get this telephone in working condition where he can install it in his home and, and get, it, uh, get it talking. It's just a really cool telephone. I'll go ahead and ring the bells here for you. And then show you the button side of it again, where you contacted the central office of the operator. You would hold that in and then crank it, and that alerted the central office or the operator and then you could make your call. Now the shelf on this uh, telephone is more of the variety of the 1916 model but the arm that comes out for the transmitter, the neck, is the long neck on it. So that would be the 1911 model. Just a really cool telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. This is Andrea's Wooden Wall Western Electric Crank Telephone. It's a 317BB, and it should be a 1911 model. Thank you for watching and have a great day.